In this video, we're going to be taking a look at using Photoshop and our Easy Album Design software to create a file to be able to insert our images into to finally create a PDF presentation. That may sound like a mouthful, so let me just show you the finished PDF presentation so you can get an idea of what we're talking about. So this is the finished PDF presentation. And what you can see here is our album layout. And as I use my arrow keys on my keyboard, I can, can transition from layout to layout to layout. That is part of my album. So it really makes for a very nice presentation. Being in a PDF format, we can share it with just about anybody on the planet uh, because nearly every computer has some type of PDF viewer. It is a universal document format, whether you're a PC or a Mac user. Um, and because of the way that we created this, uh, the file size is going to be very small. So uh, if your intention is to send this to a client to view on the web, the resolution doesn't need to be very high because they're not, you know, they're not going to be printing this. They're just going to be viewing it. Um, and so what we can do is we can create a nice template like we've done here that enables us to present our album and also our, our brand and our company. And so what we did, of course, is we've created a nice basic little template. We have a little bit of texture at the top and bottom of our layout. Now that's not part of the layout, of course. And then we have our brand which is our Easy Album logo, kind of just laying over the top. And it just makes for a really effective look, and it's really super simple to do uh, with Photoshop and Easy Album. So that's what we're going to show you how to go about creating. So let's go ahead and close that out. Now, we actually have a separate video that will show you the actual PDF output options when we're using Adobe Bridge. So check that out if you don't already know how to actually output the finished PDF file. What we're doing here is we're creating the files. And then once the files have been created, then we'll go into Bridge and we'll output the actual PDF file. So we're going to be using CS5 in this demonstration. Pretty much everything that I'm going to show you is going to be identical no matter which version of Photoshop you're using. Now we are going to be using our Easy Album extension. Um, so if you have Easy Album, you'll be able to follow right along. If you don't and have our Pixel Creator Pro software, you should be able to follow along because everything I'm going to show you in Easy Album is, of course, available in Pixel Creator Pro. And if you don't have either one of our programs, that's okay because everything I'm going to show you, you can do right in Photoshop yourself. It's just going to take a few more steps. So with that said, let's go ahead and begin the process. So first things first, I'm going to create a new document. And so I go into Easy Album and choose the new document tool. Now, we're going to be creating a PDF file specifically for web viewing. So our resolution doesn't need to be very large at all. So we're going to go with a resolution of 1024 by 768 and go ahead and click OK. And that just gives us a blank page to work with. Now, the first thing I'd like to do is simply fill in the entire background with some type of texture file. So I'm going to choose Select All. And then over here in Easy Album, choose the Add Aperture option. And that just creates a blank uh, image layer. And you can see it over here. It's nothing special. It just says Image Box. And it filled our selected area with our current foreground color. So certainly you could do that in Photoshop yourselves. Now anytime we create an image opening with Easy Album, we always get this red stroke. And I'm just going to delete it. Just drag it to the trash can here in the Layers palette. Get rid of it. Don't need it. Um, we could, if we wanted to, just turn the little eyeball off. That's OK, too. Uh, whatever suits your fancy. Now, the layouts that I'm going to be presenting to my clients are 10 by 20 layouts. And so therefore, I need an area within this document that will f allow me to fit a 10 by 20 file. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go into my uh, rectangular selection tool and choose the fixed ratio option. And I typed in a ratio of 20 by 10 in the width and height values. And then I'm just going to make a selection. And that selection is the ratio of a 10 by 20 layout. 
it's not actually 10 inches by 20 inches because the file size we're working with is considerably smaller. But the ratio is that of a 10 by 20. So if you're doing, for example, let's say you're doing an 11 by 14 album, you're gonna the ratio that you're gonna use is 22 by 14. Okay, so for a double page spread. So once we have that, I'm gonna just change my foreground color to something. And I just come over to my little color picker here and I just picked a different color. We're gonna go purple. Back over to Easy Album and choose the Add Aperture button. And just like before, we get this red stroke. I'm gonna change that stroke color. Just come over here to Photoshop, double click where it says Stroke. Brings open the standard Layer Styles dialog box which will drop it to five pixels to the outside. And the coloring, let's do white. And then what I did, let me just open up our original template here. And I'm going to cheat and just borrow our Easy Album logo. It's in a layer group. I'm just going to drag it over to my new document. And then we'll just close out my original file. Now, little tip for you. When we're in our Move tool, I have the Auto Select Group option chosen. And that way, anytime I have a layer group, which can consist of lots of layers, I can just drag right into position. I think that looks pretty good, just about like that. Okay, that's all there is really to it. Now let's go ahead and save this document. So we'll save it to the desktop, and let's call it Preview. Template. Whatever you want to call it. Okay. So that is basically in its raw format. Now what I would like to do is I would like to insert a texture file here in my background. Now that texture file is going to be consistent from page to page. So to do that, I'm going to come into Adobe Bridge, browse to some texture files, and we can use any type of texture file we want. Let's just use pretty flowers here. And then we're going to come into Easy Album, and choose that easy place function. And it asks me if I want to use bridge to select my image, which I've already done, so I'm going to say yes. And there is my background texture. We can position it exactly the way we would like it. That's fantastic. Now we could show you one other little tip once we get finished here. It says, do I want to use bridge to select image? I'm actually going to choose the skip option. I'm not going to populate that particular image layer at this point. But I do want to maybe make a change to my background texture. This is just a bonus Photoshop tip for us. If I come down to my layers palette, this little black and white circular icon, I can choose an option here, which is our hue and saturation. I love this option gives me the colorize option which I can then change the background texture color. I, if I lower my lightness to darken it up, lighten it up, and I can also change the hue to make it just about any color I like. So pretty cool options there and maybe I like that. Okay, So just that just kind of changes it up a little bit. Now here's what I would do. When we go to use our Easy Place function, the Easy Place function will always look for uh, a image layer named Image Box. And our background texture right now is named Image Box. So I'm just going to change this to background. And then when we use that Easy Place feature, it won't recognize that texture as an image layer. Pretty simple. And let's just go ahead and resave this back to our preview template. Okay. Step one out of the way, we've got our preview template. Now what we need to do is actually prep our files that we're going to be doing for our album. So to do that, we're going to come into Easy Album and choose our prep for print function. And then we're going to specify the folder that contains our PSD files. Our target directory, which will be at our desktop, we're going to choose the copy image option. And then we see here the option to export as JPEG and choose prep. And basically what it's doing, it's making high res copies of our finished layered Photoshop spreads. 
So every PSD file that was in that folder, it's going to make a high res version, but it's going to be flattened to a JPEG. Now, we said to save those files to our desktop. And so what we're going to do here is we're going to come into Bridge and look at our desktop. And there'll be a folder on our desktop called Prints. And in that folder will be a flattened JPEG file of every PSD file that was in the folder that we specified. So we had these preview templates already created. So let's just delete those. And these are the three spreads that we're working with. So back over here in Photoshop, I'm going to open up our preview template that we created. There she is in all our glory. And then we're going to populate it with our layout. So when I come in here to uh, our Easy Album, we're actually going to come into Preferences first. And for our resize factor, let's do 100%. And choose Apply. And then we can go ahead and populate. So back over here in Bridge, I'm going to select my first spread. Choose the Easy Place option. And it's just going to take our first spread and drop it right into our layout. And there it is. And you can see it fits exactly perfectly because we did that 10 by 20 ratio uh, image selection. There is our first layout. So we're going to save this as a PSD file in that senior album 01. So we'll do preview template 01 and hit save. And then I'm going to come back, choose my next spread, choose easy place again. And of course, yes to use bridge. And there is our next spread. And again, file, save as. And then we're going to do preview template 02. Back over to bridge. One more time. Easy place for our last file. And we do that for every spread um, in our layout. So it's a little bit more work, um, but it makes for a nicer presentation as well. And so we'll do File, Save As, Preview Template 03. And that's it. So now we have back over here in Bridge, if I go into my Senior Album 01, we can see that those three preview files that we just created have now been saved. So let me just show you how easy it is to create this as a PDF file. We just select those options, come into our output options. We already have a preset saved, which we call, so under our template, we call it Web Preview. And I just slide right on down here and choose the view PDF after save and hit save. We'll call it preview. And it generates the PDF file and allows us to view it. And we can cycle through our finished spreads. So you can see once we've understood the PDF output options in Bridge, to actually create a PDF file of our finished layouts is takes just mere seconds. Um, and of course, once we've created this template one time, we can save it, and then it's just a matter of inserting our images into the finished preview template using that Easy Place feature, and then outputting as a PDF file. And it'll be a great presentation for you, and it really allows you to create a very nice look to send to your clients. So I appreciate you watching. I hope you learned a little something, and I hope you're not discouraged. Give it a try. It may take a time or two for you to get all the steps, but once you get it, you're going to be outputting some really nice PDF presentation files for your clients. Thanks for watching.